the half square antenna that I tried last time was really successful, but it does have a couple of disadvantages. Firstly, it's bi-directional, and I wanted to concentrate the signal in one path, long path to the USA over the water. Secondly, it needed two of the larger eight or nine meter squid poles. That made carrying it a bit heavy. What if there was an antenna that was unidirectional and only required one main pole? I think I found it. It's a two element vertically polarized Yagi, but the elements bend in on themselves, a bit like a VK2 ABQ on its side. That could require only a single large support pole and a cross piece. I've actually got a smaller squid pole, so I'll use that as a lightweight cross piece. And with any luck, it will do even better than the half square. I found a couple of designs on the F4BKV and OZ1CX websites. Dimensions are slightly different. I'm going to go with OZ1CX's dimensions, 9.4 metres for the driven element and 10.4 for the reflector. Now it's handy to have a tape measure when you're measuring out wire, but in case you forget it, just as an insurance, make sure you measure and remember key dimensions on your body. That will help when you're measuring out antennas and you leave the tape measure at home. Because the wire is too thin to write the length on it, I'll use Morse, 9.4. The tops of the two elements need to be around 50 centimetres from the vertical pole. Because the fishing line I'm using to support it will be angled, that requires around one to half metres or so of line. Fishing line is nasty stuff that bites into thin insulated wire. So if I had my time again, I'd probably use string instead. Made out of chopping board is a cross piece. The thick vertical pole goes through there and the thinner horizontal pole through there. I'm using cable ties to tie them together. I'm using some tape just to anchor the fishing line to the top of the squid pole. The elements are asymmetrical. The reflector has a bit less of the fishing line than the driven element. Conveniently, the bottom of the smaller pole has a small ring that I can pass the wire through. The centre support pole must be about halfway along the wire. Just chopping board and cable ties make up the centre support for the cross piece. One problem with using a small telescopic pole as the cross piece is it's lopsided because it's heavier. The stake's about 30 centimetres in and I'm a bit worried because there's a northerly wind. So better build a sandcastle for some extra support. As for the ground system, I'm just using two radials, about four or five metres long. Another problem is the boom has slipped on the support pole and so it's no longer pointing out over the water. 